Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 1 of chapter Practical Geometry. In this part, we will learn the construction of parallel lines using the concept of alternate interior angles. In this part, we will learn how to construct a line parallel to a given line from a point outside it using the concept of alternate interior angles. Let's first quickly revise what are alternate interior angles made by transversal. Here, M and L are two parallel lines and P is the transversal. So, angle 4 and angle 6 and angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. Now students, let's start the construction. Step 1 is draw a line L by using a ruler and take a point, let's say A, outside this line L. Now step 2 is take any point B anywhere on line L and then join BA with the help of a ruler. In step 3, with B as center and a convenient radius, draw an arc which cuts line L at point C and line BA at point B. Step 4 is, with A as center and take the same radius as we took in step 3, draw an arc which cuts AB at point E. Now, in step 5, measure DC with the help of a compass. Students, to measure DC, place the pointed tip of the compass at point C and then adjust the opening of the compass such that the pencil tip is at point D. Now, students, keeping this radius and with E as center, Cut the arc at point F. Last step is join AF to draw line M. So students, our construction is complete. We have drawn line M parallel to line L. Now why M is parallel to L? Because we have constructed angle DBC equals to angle EAF which are alternate interior angles. Therefore, line M is parallel to line L. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.